Must be an issue with my booking site. How do you want your deposit back? Happy birthday to Y'all need to come. Diamonds on my neck, got diamonds on my records. Since 16, I'm coming down, riding Lexus. How you gonna neglect this? You was just a hot mess. You can call Tyrone, wake us a locker. Hey, you gang. Welcome back to another video. On today's video, this will be a weekend vlog. So I actually took off today. I'm celebrating some exciting news. Just have like a self-care personal day. I'm going to a new coffee shop. I'm getting my hair braided. Tomorrow is Saturday. My boyfriend's friends are coming down today. So I'm going to brunch with them tomorrow. Then church and brunch on Sunday and whatever else in between. So let's head out. Let's go. trash but just wanted to update y'all i'm about to leave the coffee shop i read like two chapters in there so i did pretty good for my reading for today that book my co-worker let me borrow it she hasn't read it yet because it's so big <laughs> but she was like everyone on tiktok said that it was good so maybe you want to try it so it's really funny like i only read two chapters and i was like intrigued so i'm definitely gonna keep reading it but basically my appointment isn't until an hour and the place is only 11 minutes from here when i looked it up yesterday it was about 20 minutes so i'm just about to go to like a little plaza shopping district they have like target ross marshall's i think or tj maxx one of those so yeah i'm just about to go over there and look for some stuff for my patio because i'm doing a patio makeover very soon finally got the chairs and everything together um a couple days ago i still need to put the table together but all of that will be in the video the dedicated video but i'm just about to go look for like a rug maybe some cushions you know so let's go Before we go into this store, I just got so hyped. So I keep getting text reminders that Bad Bath & Beyond is closing. And I actually set a reminder on my um, little reminder app thing for like 11 o'clock today to remind me after I got off work to go to Bed Bath & Beyond to look for patio stuff. But I forgot about it because I'm not working today. So I'm like out and about earlier. And I pulled up in the plaza, y'all, and Bed Bath & Beyond is right here so we finna go in there they got this big store closing sign it say now save 30 to 50 percent i really hope they have stuff from the patio we finna say come on girl I 
I cannot make this up. Sitting outside of a beauty supply shop because I ran over here to get one more bag of hair. Cause I had like three and a half bags and then I have two bags that's not expressions and I didn't know if she was gonna use that. So I went and got another bag just in case and I had like messaged her last, well like yesterday. It was like middle of the day. Messaged her again this morning to see if she had like read my DMs and like seen the pictures of the hair. And she's just now texting me back talking about, I don't have any more availability for today. There must be an issue with my booking site. How do you want your deposit back? I'm so pissed off. I literally took the time to wash my hair, blow dry it, left the house early, running my little errands, which I'm still gonna have a good day. But like, made my plans around this appointment. I have plans tomorrow, I plan Sunday. I wanted to be cute, like I wanted to get content and stuff. And now I need to figure out something for my hair. And it's so hard to get last minute appointments anywhere in Atlanta. If you live here, you know, cause people be having like squeeze in fees, this and the third, and people just be booked in general. And I really like this girl, like I've been to her, I've referred people to her. So I'm so pissed off. Like I get it if it's not like, she didn't know, but like I messaged you and I text you to see if you saw my message yesterday and today. And then she's gonna say like, I had a very busy day working yesterday. I didn't get to my messages, but you're just now getting to my message 10 minutes before my appointment. <laughs> she just texted me back. see me right now because i don't hat off i look a mess but i got these chair covers for my two sets of tables that are exactly the same so two for the inside and then two for the patio they're like really plush and they should fit perfectly 
stay tuned for the patio makeover to see. I got these runner rugs. Y'all saw this when I was in Home Depot. I hope that they're the right size. If not, I got another rug from Ikea. If they're not the right size, I'm taking them back. I also got this basket from Ikea. I think this will be really cute to just put like in the corner outside for like Dylan's toys that I leave outside or like if he's out there chilling, just put his toys in there. If it was cold, I would like have bought another blanket and put a blanket out there for outside but it's hot now and then i got this hanging like planter pot and i'm gonna go back to home depot and get some succulents or some type of like flowers or plants to put in this i decided i want to do all real plants since i'll have my succulent outside as well so yeah it's supposed to hang i really hope that these handles are big enough to go over my balcony we shall see and then this is a backup rug that I got from Ikea. I showed y'all it was on sale for like $14.99. If those other rugs don't work outside, I'm gonna use this. If they do work, I'm just gonna put this rug inside. Cause if y'all haven't noticed, my rug is gone. Dylan threw up on it like a month or two ago. It's been a while, a couple months ago. So I have to throw it away. So I just got this. And then from Bed Bath & Beyond, I got these lanterns with LED lights in the inside. I'm not even sure if these come with batteries. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out in the patio vlog. And then I got a smaller one to sit next to it. And last but not least, I got a new shower liner because mine is dirty. And that's it. sprays regular length but they go to my waist <laughs> so there's that about to get ready to go to brunch the guys actually just woke up so i'm meeting them and i'm closer to the brunch place than they are we're going to milk and honey which has been on me and jeremy's list for like forever but we still haven't been so that's where we're going i'm just about to put on some mascara some blush and some concealer while i wait on them I was gonna do it inside in the bathroom in there that y'all saw me in but my parking just expired and I'm not about to pay 
Oh, they didn't have like 15 minute or 30 minute increments. It was only for a whole hour and I'm not about to be here for another hour. I hope y'all can hear me. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So I just brought like really quick, easy stuff. I'm not putting on lashes. I'm just about to put on a little bit of concealer, mascara and call it a day. Oh, and the time is 12.06. So I got in and out in four hours and she did have to stop a couple times because she was ordering like food and then, I don't know, she, she had to stop a few times, but she's generally fast. Go ahead and put my mascara on. I don't know why I'm rushing because I have plenty of time. The guys are like 45 minutes away and I'm only like 23 minutes away from the place. And this is just my Dior mascara. Can y'all see this? It's having trouble focusing, but it's a Dior show. The one I always use and I love this mascara. I rarely be wearing mascara because y'all know I just wake up and go out the door with nothing on my face with skincare but this is some really good mascara like it's not clumpy and it really defines your lashes like wow period just enough and y'all saw my fit i had on that pink Hilera skirt and then i just put on this i think this is from Hilera too yeah this top from Hilera as well and then i have on these pink and white tennis shoes that jeremy got me for my birthday i think it was either my birthday or valentine's day oh, just blending that in but i hope y'all are having a great day whenever y'all end up watching this despite my <laughs> appointment getting moved to today it's been a good weekend so far i really felt all of yesterday i don't know if i included the clip but y'all i ended up going back to home depot yesterday because i was just like i put this stuff out on my balcony and when the rugs didn't work out i was like no i did not go out and spend all this money for stuff to not work so i ended up ordering another rug from world market and they were having a deal like if you order online for in-store pickup you get 15 percent off so i got the rug and it's a six by nine so it's bigger than the rug i got from ikea i got that rug for like 30 bucks crazy in the ikea rug i ended up putting that in the living room and then whenever i went back to home depot i took those two um smaller rugs back and then i got some flowers which y'all will see in the patio video but yeah okay so we're done with that and then i didn't bring a brush for blush because i was like i could just do this with my hand so mm -hmm. Ooh, i forgot how pigmented this is Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see the color? Blended it out too much. There she is. She's rosy. This is really like a peach color, but y'all know I've had this for a while. It's not focusing, but this is the LYS in Inspire. A great shade for us for us with a little bit more melanin and look how she blends out and she's so buildable but super pigmented as well the girls be doing a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of that forehead and we're done okay i will see y'all at brunch but <laughs> make Hey, Chapter 8 The Ark Brought to the Temple there before the ark came the wings of the cherubim and its carrying poles. These poles were so long that their ends could be seen from the temple's main room, the holy place, but not from the outside. The glorious presence of the Lord filled the temple. The of Israel standing before him, my people Israel. 
Then Solomon said, My father David wanted to build this temple to honor the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. Now the Lord has fulfilled the promise of place. And I now sit on the throne of Israel, just as the Lord promised. Solomon's prayer of dedication. Then Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in front of the entire community of Israel. I promise with your own. And now, O Lord God of Israel, carry out the additional promise you made to your servant David, my father. For you said to him, if your descendants guard their behavior and faithfully follow me as you have done, one of them will always sit on the throne of Israel when we pray toward this place. If someone wrongs another person and is required to take an oath of innocence in front of your oath to honor your name, then become angry with them and let their enemies conquer them and take them captive to their land far away or near. But in that land of exile, they might turn to you in repentance and pray.
Hey, two gang. So I know I'm looking, yeah. But I just wanted to come and close out the vlog. So the last thing y'all saw was me at brunch with the girls. And then y'all saw church before that. Church was really good. I Hopefully I included some clips in here. But basically it was a pastor's 28th pastoral anniversary. Cheers to 28 years for him. That is amazing. And then there was a guest pastor, of course, so he could have like a day off. And the guest pastor talked about like different facts of life and like different stages of life and things that pastors go through that we also go through. And just saying that they're not like exempt from anything that we go through. And basically he had talked out of Second Corinthians and Paul was basically talking about the things that pastors go through because Paul had been given the opportunity to, you know, minister to people. And so one of the things that he went through was like having no support. Like Paul had talked about how he had been blessed with the opportunity, but then his brother wasn't there for him to like see the opportunity through. And then the second one that he talked about, a fact of life is with every blessing that we're given from God, the devil always wants to attach a burden. And so he went down like with marriage, it's a blessing, but there's burden, singleness, um, with children, being a pastor. So he just like gave different examples and one of those was like, I mean, and Paul related to that as well. Like he gave, God gave him the opportunity to be able to minister to others, but then he didn't have like any support from his brother and then other trials and burdens that came along with him being a minister. And then the other one that he talked about was like conflicting concerns. So Paul was called to preach in Troas but then he was also called to preach in Macedonia so it's like picking and choosing between two things and that like really spoke to me just like where I am right now in life like being blessed with certain things but having to make tough decisions between like what I was blessed with then what I'm blessed with now and like moving on into new um dimensions and then the last thing he talked about was like the overall archer message was like who is sufficient enough to go through these things and still endure them. And like, at the end of the day, we all are sufficient as long as we rely on God to like help us through it, give us the victory. We already have the victory and yeah, just keep pressing forward. So that was the message. Hopefully y'all got something out of that. And that's the end of this vlog. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that button down below. Hit the bell if you want to be notified whenever I post again. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Let's go. Let's go.